You must consult the user manual for the full contraindication list before treatment. This video does not replace training led by an authorized specialist. Always read the user manual before using the M-Sculpt Neo device. Room and patient preparation. Position the device near the treatment bed as demonstrated. Do not place the device in direct sunlight or near heat sources, as it may lead to an excessive temperature increase for the device. Also, do not cover the device or the applicators during the treatment. Ask the patient to remove all jewellery and any metallic accessories, including piercing before treatment. The patient should also avoid wearing any clothing with metallic parts such as zippers, bra wires, etc. Do not place any metallic item as well as any electronic devices, cell phones, data carriers, credit cards, etc. close to the applicator. Consult the user manual for complete information about treatment precautions. Place the fixation belt on the bed. Ensure that the patient removes clothing from the treatment area. Have the patient lay down flat on their back. You may want to place a bolster below the knees to relax the abdominal muscles and lumbar spine. Applicator placement. Secure the applicator in the treated area with the help of a fixation belt supplied with the device. Make sure that the applicator is adequately secured to avoid any applicator movement during the treatment. Do not treat directly over bony areas. Make sure to keep the applicator positioned symmetrically over the treated area. For bigger patients, use two applicators at the same time to ensure complete coverage of the treatment area. Instruct the patient to press the therapy discomfort button in case of an emergency. Start treatment. Select desired protocol and applicator channel. Set the radio frequency intensity to 100%. Increase the hyphen intensity until reaching visible contractions. Correct the applicator's position to find the best muscle response. The patient should feel contractions homogeneously across the treated area. To ensure therapy efficacy, increase the intensity up to the patient's tolerance level. M-Sculpt Neo treatments may feel very intense, but should never be painful. A strong muscle response along with intense yet tolerable heating sensation is essential to maximizing treatment results. However, patient comfort should never be compromised. Make sure that you maintain the treatment settings just below the patient's maximum tolerance threshold. It is important to maintain verbal contact with the patients during the treatment. Ask them how they feel and adjust intensities accordingly. The patients should feel intense but tolerable contractions and heating sensation without any pain. Keep checking comfort, contraction and heat intensity during the whole treatment procedure. The treatment may require multiple applicator adjustments. Make sure that the applicator stays centered over the treatment area within a full contact with the patient's skin during the whole treatment procedure. It is essential to make adjustments during the treatment if necessary to maximize the efficacy. Continue to increase the hyphen intensity during treatment if tolerated well by the patient. Lower the RF intensity temporarily if the patient reports discomfort due to the heat. Lower the hyphen intensity temporarily if the patient reports discomfort due to muscle contractions. There should be no pain during the treatment. Try to increase the intensity back to the original levels if the patient can later tolerate higher intensities. 
If applicator loses contact with the patient's skin, the warning symbol will appear on the screen. It is necessary to reposition the applicator to have the full contact with the patient's skin. Remove the applicator when therapy is completed. The patient may feel mild muscle fatigue after the treatment. There may also be a temporary skin redness in the treated area. Common mistakes to avoid. Do not start the treatment or calibration while applicators are still in holders. The applicator is not secured by the fixation belt. The fixation belt is not tight enough. The fixation belt is placed incorrectly. The applicator is not in the full contact with the patient. Applicators must never overlap each other. The applicator is positioned incorrectly. The applicator must never be covered. This may compromise the cooling process. Patients must remove any clothing from the treated area.